doing, class? How you doing? Little Tommy from Cleveland. The session man coming at you with yet another three days in a row version of the homeschooling show. I figured out how to turn off that heater over there, which is nice. A little, a little more quiet on the set. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. We got a uh, we got a big matchup today. We got the Browns and Titans. And uh, man, I don't even know how to root for. I'm uh, a little conflicted. You know, I've been I've been living in Nashville for hell, 28 years, longer than I lived in Cleveland. I still love the Browns, though. You know, um, I wanted to talk. I wanted to do a, a rare gear uh, gear related episode today. I wanted to talk about um, phase shifters. Uh, the guy Strat Magic made a comment about what was in that box back there and I, I, it made me think about phasers and I, I rarely ever talk about gear and stuff like that but I, I think it's time to talk about phase shifters one of my favorite effects you know um, I've got two of my all time favorite phasers here I got a um, script logo phase 90 and I've got an old uh, Mutron phaser 2 right these are my two favorite phasers of all time uh, I know there's hundreds of, of vintage and new phasers you could buy, but these particular ones I, I always thought were great. Uh, my old friend Bubba that taught me about guitars when I was a kid, talking about vintage guitars, he always said a good phaser is very chewy sounding. It's a great adjective to describe a, a good phaser, chewy. I get it. And I also feel like um, phasers, I don't even know why they even have a speed knob. Because anybody that ever used a phaser, right? I mean, you turned it all the way down. Like Van Halen, Joe Walsh, you know, Waylon Jennings. It's always all the way down. I mean, you don't want the phase going crazy fast, right? The coolest phase sounds are always when, with a real slow, very gradual ramp through the spectrum, right? In my humble opinion. Don't get mad at me. This is just what I think. And apparently a few others. But, all right, so here you go. Like... I'll just play, I'll play like, uh, here's the phase 90, right? Okay. time greatest phase shifter song ever the intro to county fair by joe walsh <laughs> Sounds more like it, but I think honestly, I prefer just for my own personal taste the phaser, the Mutron phaser too. I just think it's more awesome sounding. <laughs> you know, Eddie. You know, Eddie Van Halen obviously in the early days was a huge phaser fan, and I love the way that you know he used the MXR phase ninety and. 
I love the way that he, um, I read in interviews and, and articles about how he only used half of the phaser, right? Like he had a rig where, where he wasn't getting the full effect. It was only using half of it, which, you know, which is very clever. I and mean, he was great at that kind of stuff. And his phaser sounds are amazing on the first couple albums. And you got to love Eddie. So, yeah. All right. What else are we going to talk about today? Um, oh, somebody wanted me to show. First of all, thank you for the kind words uh, for the Sarah... Um, Christmas blanket thing we did, the old Genesis tune. Your own special way. That was a that was fun. And uh man, you guys said some of the sweetest things and I really appreciate it. Um I'll show you how to play that, because a lot of people ask what those chords were. I didn't write this, don't worry. Mike Rutherford wrote this. And it's awesome. So I'll tune up here. But yeah, it's in key of C, right? <laughs> Like C major, here's the way I did it, right? I, I just basically tried to highlight, you know, there's a lot going on on that record. I basically just tried to highlight all the, the harmonic parts that I thought were, you know, most important, you know? C. And then I keep the high E on top, but I made like a A minor, like a C6. And then like a G major. With also that high E on top. So like, so like you got... set that bass note on, on that third chord, right? You can't just let your sing, the same finger ring through all those bass notes, the low C. It has to be a little bit of a gap there, which I hate. I wish it was, I couldn't think of any way to play it where it wasn't, where it was smooth. Oh, the woes of an acoustic guitar player. This is just some weirdo voices I made up. A flat major. It's just basically an A, like if you took an A flat power chord, but put the third up on top, you know. And then this is a cool one. Um, this is one of Uncle Larry's. Uh, a G sus, but you got the open B string in it. Okay, so you got a B up on top, and then open B. And then the sus C with your with your uh, ring finger on the so you got with one of Larry's patented half step rubs there, and then a big old D major chord with an F sharp in the bass, and then F add nine. So it's like that whole progression down is A flat major, G sus, F sharp over D over F sharp. Right. Chorus, different feel, D minor, simple, and you got to get that lick in there. because it's actually higher on the record. Classic Mike Rutherford. So it's like, um, here's the chorus. So E minor, F major seven, and you know, D minor seven with the add nine in there as well. Open E string, and it all starts over.
totally unrelated. I wanted to ask you guys one thing. Um, I've been meaning to ask this for several episodes. Any of you guys out there live in Nashville that know anyone who's a badass and working on old cars? The old Chevy, 65 Impala convertible is a mess. It needs, it needs a guy. I need a guy. I'll gladly trade cash, guitar lessons, whatever. But it's got to be somebody that really knows what they're doing, okay? I'm tired of messing around with these shade tree mechanics. Somebody that really knows how to rehab an old uh, Impala. I mean, I'm not talking about like, uh, you know, one of those TV show rehabs. I just mean you get the thing running. Fix all the leaks, all that stuff, you know? Um, and all, yeah, one more thing. I forgot to show you guys the old Tweed basement. So I'm gonna put this guitar down, this old bird, and here's the Tweed basement from yesterday. I totally forgot. There you go, right there. She's a sweet one. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. Happy Sunday.